this video, we're going to learn how to use shortcut trick to solve integration by parts in seconds. All right. Now, this video will be very, very useful for those writing board exams like JEE, NDA, A level maths, GC, SE exam, and the rest of them. Even if you are a college student or high school student writing calculus exams involving multiple choice questions, this video or this shortcut trick will be very, very useful to you as well. All right. So, let's begin. Before we go into the details, let me explain or show you how you can identify questions involving integration by parts okay so it's usually when you have let's say this function a polynomial function multiplying another function so this other function could be a trigonometric function it could be a logarithmic function or exponential function okay so having known this let's look at this typical problem this we are giving this integral function s cube okay exponential just for x dx and so it has to integrate this function so look at the shortcut trick we apply you firstly differentiate this polynomial function here and then integrate the exponential function so let's begin with the polynomial function you'll start by writing the original function which is s Cube. So when you differentiate s cube, you're going to have very x square. When you differentiate the x square, you're going to have six x. When you differentiate six, you're going to have six. When you differentiate constant, you're going to have zero. Okay. So now let's integrate the exponential function. When you integrate the exponential function, we still get back the same exponential function. So the idea here for the polynomial function is to differentiate it until we get zero. Now that we have done this, this is C0. Well, now that we have done this, let's put this sign. Very, very important, guys. We start with plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. All right? Now, let's multiply through. After you must have put the sign, you multiply through. Okay, so when you multiply three, you're going to have s cubed times exponential is going to give us x cubed exponential is the power x, then minus 3x squared times exponential is going to give us minus 3x squared exponential is the power x. Okay, then plus 6x times exponential, you're going to have plus 6 x exponential is over x and last we have minus 6 times exponential and have minus 6 exponential is over x and because this is indefinite integration put a constant plus c all right so this will be the answer to this question now let's verify this the calculator if you want to check if you are correct let's verify your calculator let me show you you can also do this with calculator all right this is Casio calculator now, the first thing you have to do, you need to clear to put it in default mode. All right, so do the press shift button. I full instruction, I want to clear or oh, press three, press the code, so then press the code to give. We have not cleared the calculator. Now, the next thing you have to do will be to store a real number, which is two. I opt to recommend two because I have worked with two for a long time, not find error with it. To start to press two first, press shift store uh, this i would say both stand for store x so when you do it it will decay that two has, has been stored as x so to integrate with the calculator one more point you have to note put your calculator in radius mode they are very, very important to do that we press shift mode radius is option four don't solve it in degree all right to be at the safe side so now let's evaluate the function that's the first step you have to follow before you do the next thing, all right, to evaluate this function, we're going to have it to be alpha x cube. Okay, we have exponential. To bring the exponential, press shift this button is to power x, press equal to. So let's now we have to 9.11.
next thing, next step we now which is the last step we need to differentiate the function if we differentiate it and get 59 for 11 it will tell us that our answer is valid or correct so let's do it to differentiate we press shift this integral bottle sign so let's differentiate the function we got as our answer we have quickly have alpha x okay raised to power 3 all right now have exponential which is shift this raised to power x okay we have minus theory alpha x square all right exponential shift this raised to power x alpha x all right we have plus 6 x alpha x exponential is the power x okay we have minus 6 exponential is the power x so the plus c this plus c is not part of it so just a constant once you are done go back to this place and put the two is stored all right so ensure that your bracket are balanced guys very important so the brackets are balanced we have one at the right and one at the left so let's go ahead and press the code now to get the result 9.11 correct so this expression answer we have here is valid so we have confined it with the calculator okay so let's solve another problem that involves trigonometric functions now you know how to do that kind of problem let's wipe this okay what if you are given this question you are given this integral function s cos 2x dx so how do you solve this problem all right so the first thing you have to do would be to differentiate this polynomial function then integrate this trigonometric function so to differentiate you write the original function so when you differentiate x you're going to have one when you differentiate one you're going to have zero then when you integrate this trigonometric function cos 2x you're going to have sine 2x all right upon 2 let's put this in brackets okay then when you integrate sine 2x you're going to have minus cos 2x upon 4 so this is nothing okay now you multiply through remember your conventional sign plus minus plus very, very important okay so if you multiply through plus x times sine 2x upon 2 you're going to have it to be x sine 2x upon 2 all right minus 1 times minus cos 2x upon 4 we're going to have it this minus times minus plus plus all right plus cos 2x upon 4 because this is indefinite integration add the constant plus c and this will be the answer to this let's verify with the calculator again so let's get a classic calculator all right so we don't need to clear because we are still working with the stored value to it's only when you want to store a different number that you have to clear but since you don't want to store a different number you still make use of that to install so quickly let's evaluate the function the integral function we have x we have alpha x all right cos sorry 2x okay let's press support two so we have minus 1.30 so let's differentiate this answer and see if we're going to have, have minus 1.30 so quickly shift this integral button sign to come out all right so we have x alpha x sine all right 2x alpha x close the brackets over so we have 2 there all right plus fraction we have cos 2x alpha x close the brackets over 4 don't put the plus c then go over and put 
it is to ensure that the bracket is balanced very important that is special code c so minus 1.3 is correct so this answer is very very valid so guys this is the idea behind it all right if i'm the one doing it alone I, I i will do it in less than 30 seconds and get the answer but because i'm trying to explain that's why I'm, I'm a bit slow hope you can understand so let's solve one more problem on this trigonometric function that involves sine function right before we can call it a class so stay with me this is very, very interesting so let's wipe this and solve another problem okay if you are giving something like this you are giving this integral function x sine 3x dx has to integrate this so to apply the shortcut trick you differentiate this polynomial function and integrate this trigonometric function so let's begin right the original function when you, you differentiate x we're going to have one when you differentiate one you're going to have zero one is a constant whenever you differentiate a constant you have zero so now when you integrate sine three x you're going to have it to be minus cos three x upon three okay so when you integrate minus cos three x you are going to have it to be minus sine 3x upon so when you square the denominator you're going to have 9 so this is nothing remember a conventional sign plus minus plus all right okay so when you multiply through you're going to have our answer will be x plus x times minus cos 3x upon we're going to have it to be okay minus x cos 3x upon 3 then this minus 1 times minus sine 3x upon 9 this minus of times this minus will change to plus we have plus all right sine 3x upon 9 that's all then we put the constant plus c and this will be the answer it's as simple as that guys now you can choose to verify with the calculator using the same method i've explained to you you will get the same result so guys that's it for this video hope you have something interesting now here's my question for you which of the pattern or method will you be using often we likely use or we'll be using this shortcut trick often or we'll be using the calculator technique or trick so leave your response in the comment section below and i'm enjoying in the discussion remember this video will be very very useful to you if you are writing board exam like nda jee gc se exam or a level mass exam all right or even if you're writing multiple choice questions on calculus it will be very very useful so that's it for this slide guys thanks for watching if you are new to the channel surely to hit the subscribe button for more video like this if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to give your question in the comment section below and we sure to give you a response that's it for this slide guys thanks for watching this shortcut trick for integration by parts